So today I'm going to be out on the Suwannee River doing some alligator snapper surveys. Um, these turtles are protected and uh, they're really, really cool, like dinosaurs. So this is going to be a really cool adventure. And we're going to be going out with the FWC. Oh, they do it. They pull up the trap. Pull it up as far as the water possible, see if there's anything in it. Obviously, there's big turtles in there. You can't pull the trap out of the water. I mean, you know there's turtles, and so you, you be careful. But but the thing to do is, you know, keep that trap, you know, opening up. And uh, and then the other person um, unclips the, the anchor line. And then might have to grab the trap while you, you kind of pull yourself up to where it's tied. They're tied just with slip knots, so it's just a matter of pulling and it comes undone. It's like somebody like somebody that's had it in the cage for a long time. <laughs> That's a thing. I've seen that same look with other turtles though. That's something that something that happens. I've seen the yellow belly with the shelf on the side here, they grab the other side, and you pick them up, and you can take the claws away from you. Oh, 110 pounds of them. Yeah, 110 pound of turtle. And then you can see how strong you really are. <laughs> and if you get tired, you can put on your leg. I'm gonna take them closer to shore so other people can yeah. enjoy them. Yeah. 
So now we're gonna do the data on these turtle measurements, weight, things like that. And then they'll be released right back where they were found. That yeah, I mean it's kind of inconsistent, but if you, what it is, if you pull these scoots off, the bone, uh, the bones actually there's um, this this caudal bone right here has two peripherals. This is actually one bone right here, and that's what makes it different from the other ones. Well, yeah, that and the DNA uh, genetic diversion and fossil records. So. The one they're doing now barely has that. Three ninety seven. This one is a really strange carapace. This one just gets a neat kind of ball. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Big head, small shell, it's all cropped off of the Three sixty three. way to hold them and see it keeps your 50, and if you want you know just like that I'm guessing so I think that's a big one let's see here no there we go Great. this is the this biggest is, this, this is the biggest turtle oh yeah exactly. somebody somebody tall this is the largest turtle of all of them Bang. okay it's uh Well, it's exactly 110 pounds, so whatever. It's well, like, we'll get him in the middle. He'll look at it. He's like, what can I kick it No. Hey, like it was between pounds? something. It was. It, it well, just look at 110 and get, tell me. Yeah, what okay, it. yeah. 110 pounds. Yeah. I said it was 110 pounds. Yeah. 110 pounds. Exactly.
Yeah. Yeah, I know that. from the top, but not, I don't know. Looks like you got grabbed by a gator. Yeah, because look at the back. Look, look, look what I'm, yeah. look, that's a drill hole. I mean, look how, yeah. but I don't see, that. that's too far. Well, I don't know, it only has one that looks like a drill hole. So we can chew on a little bit. That, we would never really drill that holes to or identify in case the pit is Well, that was a big change from looking for snakes. I really enjoyed that. The alligator snappers are just such incredible beast. The closest things to dinosaurs probably we're gonna get. And they're just awesome. Big giant monsters. The one was 110 pounds, the biggest we found. So that was really cool. It was nice to get out with uh, some of my friends and some new people and my old boss, Kevin Inge. It was great. So I hope everybody enjoyed it and 
Hope to bring some more videos to you like that. Thanks for watching.